piece of legislation. Excellent. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. I call Paul Eagle. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Oh, yes, ever observant, the eagle eye that I have, uh, Chief Whip. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't used that line before. Ha, ha, ha. Look, it is the second reading. We've heard that from every other speaker here this evening. I want to acknowledge uh, the Governance and Administration Committee, a hard-working committee, if not probably the best select committee. No one's listening, so that was a test of who's listening. Oh, there we are. There we are. We've got the deputy chair in front of me, and she's fairly feisty, and she keeps uh, all the members, including from the government benches, uh, honest and, and hardworking, and uh, that's Ginny Anderson, uh, the List MP based in uh, Hutt South. Um, can I thank uh, the local member, uh, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith? Uh, a local bill is important. Uh, these are things um, that are generally not put forward lightly. And with my council background, I certainly remember uh, local bills going through. In fact, one I can, I can only remember one, and that was for the Wellington Town Bout. So these are important, and, and I want to just acknowledge the members of the committee who went down to Nelson and uh, listened to uh, the locals, really. And that's the, that's, this, is the, this is the big um, dynamic when it comes to building big infrastructure at a local level. Uh, that often locals get nervous and um, the deputy chair of the uh, committee said that there were some hungry hippies who certainly weren't too happy um, with what was going on, but that is expected. And I think one of the things you learn uh, in, in local government, and I can see three colleagues across the, the house there uh, who have been leaders in local government, um, is that you do have to make the calls around the big infrastructure. This is core infrastructure too, water. And I'm not going to divert, Madam Speaker, into water and, and the issues with that. Um, but I can well imagine, and not that I... Uh, there was so much competition to travel to Nelson uh, to listen to these submissions that I missed out, but never mind. Um, and, uh, but I do want to say that... Um, I, I, can, uh, I can just imagine what some of the conflicts would be uh, from, from the locals. Um, and those are valid concerns. I think too often we try and uh, play a, a wee game where we, where we pit uh, the, 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 the corporates or business versus locals. And I think one of the keys to um, a good uh, local authority is the ability to strike a compromise. And I note in the... Um, in, in uh, some of the, uh, the progress around Tasman District Council making a decision. Uh, the margins of voting have been narrow, they've been tight, um, but certainly um, in early September they were able to vote 9-5. Look, you never get a, a, a full vote on these projects. You can imagine that those councillors who are intimate with, more intimate with their communities or who live in the communities where people have expressed concern about this, um, then they won't, they won't vote for it. But 9-5 is a good, decent vote. That gives uh, the level of reassurance. I think that, yes, there's been uh, some conflict around uh, what people want, but overall, um, that new funding model that was presented uh, that was reached with investors, um, that showed confidence. And that's different to the 8-6. So another uh, local councillor obviously looked at the detail, and that's good, and got the project um, positively um, voted for it. I just want to note the, um, the economic and environmental uh, benefits for the community. Previous speakers have certainly spoken um, about it. Uh, but water supply, and I heard the, the, uh, the member for Nelson talking about the need for, um, for, for big business. Um, certainly, um, I think it was called Nelson, the people who make MDF. Nelson Pine, there we are, thank you. Uh, their, need and their need to um, ensure that there's a, a constant water supply, and that's... Look, when you break that down into uh, simple economics, 
Um, that's jobs. That, that's ensuring that they've got the water supply uh, to make the MDF, to make sure that the people who work for Nelson Pine have a job. Uh, they are not laid off or not put into um, a holding pattern while they sort out core infrastructure. I can imagine too, and look, Nelson is, is the, Wellington, the playground of the Wellingtonian, um, like Coromandel is or once used to be for Aucklanders, and from the Waikato it still is. Um, and so um, I know that, that that council, Thames Coromandel, had the same issue with their water infrastructure, um, just a, a really in, uh, an increasing demand on uh, that core infrastructure supply. They've listed some, some growing urban communities here, R Richmond, Nelson, Brightwater and Mapua. Um, and the comment there is they want to avoid uh, water shortage. And look, you don't need to remember back far uh, to 2001 when they had the big dry um, and certainly um, this will stop that. This will ensure uh, that the water supply uh, will be consistent. Um, and look, sometimes we forget um, that it is uh, Tasman, but there's also Nelson. And one of the things I notice on visits down there is that there's more collaboration between Nelson City and Tasman District, and I, and I think that's, that's good. In terms I'm of some, sorry to oh, interrupt the member, but the oh. time has come. Me to leave the chair of the House will resume at 7.30. Thank you.